Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Learn Project Management channel. In this channel, you will have all the courses in Primavera P6 and also Risk PMP and Construction Management. All the courses from A to Z, from beginner till you become expert. If you need the Arabic version of this lecture, I will, will put it in the notes down and you can go through it. And if you have any question, let me know. Uh, today is about how to be a successful uh, planning engineer. What are the qualifications? How can I start if, you, if I am a student or just graduated from the college? Uh, how can I start? So this slide said, when, where can I work? As a planning engineer, I can work on the office. I can work on the site, uh, depending on the current stage of the project. If the project is still in bidding phase, you're gonna work in the main office, but if you're already in constructions, you have to be on site and it's gonna be remote or based on the type of the project. What are the qualifications of planning engineer? What need to be done to be a good planning or scheduling engineer? We have a good lectures called difference between planning and scheduling. Planning means how, how you're gonna do the work. What is the method statement for that? Scheduling means when, how can I phase the project? How can I divide it into phases like that? So the qualification, in my view, you have a bachelor degree, either mechanical, electrical, civil, and the preference is to work on your industry. If you are a civil engineer, you will be familiar with all civil engineering work, and you will be familiar with the equipment, and you're gonna be a good uh, civil engineer planner. Do I need to have certificate like PSCP or PMP? PSCP is mostly uh, near uh, for the scheduler. PMP is a project management is wide. Uh, you can have either one of these if you would like to have both is based on you. Okay, what software do I need to be a good planner or scheduler? You can be expert in P6 and we will have all the courses in our channel. Also, you will learn the microsoft project many companies like microsoft project uh, especially for the small uh, project uh, there are many other software in the market but uh, those two are the main one you should learn uh, them you have to have a good knowledge of engineering design okay because design how you design by the way a bridge or a building from footing to column and slabs this kind of analysis is very important for you to become uh, become a good scheduling engineer. The knowledge of scheduling and phases process also, this is very important for a scheduling engineer. To be familiar with costing system, accounting system, because you're gonna tie the cost and the account to uh, Primavera. We'll work in, in uh, in the office with many people, financials and accounting, and they will ask you to tie the schedules to the accounting system and have all the uh, earned value metrics. So to be familiar with this is very, very important. Also, uh, you have a, a very good uh, per, uh, uh, knowledge of the performance rating. Also to be familiar with productivity rates like material equipment, you know how uh, many cubic meters uh, uh, this excavator can do, procurement of material, how long it will take you to uh, to get this material on site, are you getting it from uh, your country, you're going to get it outside, uh, something like that. So all these notes uh, are very important for you as a planner or as a scheduler. What are the skills? Planner should have a self-assessment. He can review the drawing. He can uh, do his own, his own assessment. He can divide uh, the, the scope himself, and then he can sit with the project manager to review his work. So ability to work independently. Sometimes some, some projects, uh, you don't have a, a full team. You're going to be alone. So to read the drawing, contract conditions, all this kind of stuff. So you should know how to work independent. Ability to propose solutions to technical engineering. You, you should have many uh, ways or alternatives. How we can do the schedule like that? Uh, how to divide the schedules? How to do the phasing is very important for you. The most important from my uh, opinion is the communication skills. Because communication is very important. How you call the guys on site to give you the informations through emails, 
through a telephone uh, some or you're gonna have a, a meeting one to one this, this is very important and to maintain a good relationship with the guys on site uh, leadership skills because if you are tough and you are not uh, a teamwork people will not give you the information and you're gonna have a false information in your uh, schedules delegating skills and motivating if you have a team or something like that you can delegate some of the work ask them to do it and then you can review it and you can also have a good uh, relation with other people what you need before you start scheduling before you start any doing scheduling work you should have the description of the project the areas and the phases of the work and nature of the project also you should uh, know the contract document this project will start from a this year to next year what are the constraints what are the problems what are the obstacles is the project fund uh, what is the funding of the project is this project fully funded or is it going to be by the way 50 percent government and 50 percent private investment something like that how this is going to affect your project milestones this project is being divided into phases you need to finish the infrastructure by this date you need to finish the electrical work by this date you need to finish the building by this date and what are the project goal some companies need to build by the way a complex and they need to finish by the way the exhibition hall first and to have all the brochure for the companies so what are the project goals resources like people equipment and material to be familiar with the capability of your company uh, uh, what are the resources manpower equipment what are the materials uh, that you have list of purchases are you going to purchase all the material or you have it in in the company itself the rfc plan if the, your project is uh, is the built that's mean you have a designer he will do all the design work give you the rfc which has a complete design and then based on that you will be able to divide your project into phases into wbs like what you have in our channel we have a complete course in primavera in english and in arabic method statement this is very important is coming from project manager who describe how the work is going to be done who is going to do it what are the equipment tools so he has to do this give it to you guys and then you can use it to build your schedule obstacles like uh, site acquisitions do you have a problem with the right of way uh, license and something like that how can i start my schedules if you have part of your uh, area or your project is not available so you have to keep it till date and you start your schedule by the available area bill of quantities like what we have in the middle east uh, is very really important you can tie it uh, to your schedule and they will do some lectures how you tie the bill of quantities to uh, p6 so you can track your budget billing having the earned value and kbis responsibilities what are the responsibilities of the planning engineer Develop the overall schedule using CPM method in Primavera, Microsoft, whatever. You also plan and upload the resources. You have to go and get all the resources and upload it to your activity so you will have a resource profile. You will make a regular update to the schedule either weekly or monthly uh, based on the importance of the project. Uh, the progress update also is part of the regular update and then you check with the project manager and show them all the performance and who is doing well who is doing bad and how to resolve that major project deviations okay once you do the biz line after that you will assign it to your current schedules do the update and then do the variances i think we're going to do a, a lecture in the variance uh, report how you do that how you get the matrices uh, is going to be very important but we have some of the lecture already in that channel explaining what are the deviations from the current baseline uh, one of the nice things uh, that uh, planning or scheduling engineer has to visit the site to be familiar with the progress to see everything by his eye so when he gets the information from the guys he will be familiar with that you will assist also the project uh, team in in the claims and the change orders uh, you will analyze the delays uh, also, you will understand the risk and opportunities and how to achieve uh, early completion, what needs to be done, how to increase your opportunities, positive risk, 
and how you to decrease the threats or the negative risks. I hope you like this lectures. It's gonna be easy and follow us on the channel. If you have any questions, send it to me. And we'll add also all the books on our Google Drive, which will to you guys. If you still need the Arabic lectures, we have another uh, uh, channel in Arabic. You can see all the lectures there. You will have the link. Thanks so much and have a great day.